Okay, hello everyone to a new episode of Algebra. Today we have a very special treat. Uh, we are going to meet an algebraist. So we're going to interview somebody that does algebra for a living. So our very special guest is uh, Wan Lin Li. Uh, she got her PhD in 2019 from the University of Wisconsin-Madison. And she's now a research scientist in mathematics at the Massachusetts Institute of Technology, also known as MIT. Hello, Wan Lin. How are you? Hello, everyone. Thanks for the interest for algebra. Yeah, yeah. Thank you for being here. So um, Natalie and Julia are here with me, and uh, they have a few questions for you because they uh, they want to know what you do. So I'm, I'm just going to give it uh, the microphone to them. So here's Natalie. When did you decide you wanted to be a mathematician? Hello, Natalie. Thanks for your question. So um, I have always liked math, probably you too. And, uh, but I really started to think about being a mathematician uh, when I was during the last two years of college. And I feel I really wanted to be a mathematician while I was really in grad school. So, you know, there's no rush to decide to choose math as a career. And it's never too late. Uh-huh. Very good. How about Julia? Do you have a question? How many types of math do you know? Like addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, what else? Yeah. Um, thanks, Julia. There are lots of different types of mathematics. You know, as, as you have learned, all of um, addition, subtraction, uh, multiplication, division, and there are lo lots of other things people study. For example, some people study um, study circles you know like if i draw a circle here can you see me drawing a circle yeah yeah we see the okay. circle okay and i can draw a second circle that touches my first circle right you can see my second circle yeah yeah okay great and now i can draw a third one that touches both of them if i do it correctly yes you know? there it is great and and also i can draw a fourth one that touches all three of them well if i can manage to do that. Oh well, imagine the, cir the, the next, the other circle also touches the last uh -huh, one, uh -huh. and and you can do again and again draw circles that touches three circles. And some people study the size of these circles. Oh. This is a type of mathematics. Although you don't see numbers here, but this is a type of mathematics. Yeah, so and, those are, and then it makes some very uh, cool pictures. Exactly, and also there's something called modular arithmetic. Which, um, which is a little bit like addition, um, subtraction, uh, ar oh well, I can't spell apparently, uh, arithmetic. Is for example, instead of of if I'm adding five point six, instead of writing as eleven, I can just cross out the first term and call it one. So I can I can be adding or subtracting, but only keeping track of the last digits of my number, and this is a type of mathematics actually. Uh huh. Isn't isn't it magical? And people study that a lot. Thanks. Yeah, yeah. Very nice. Thank you, Wan Lin. Uh, Natalie, do you have another question? What type of math do you specialize in? Well, um. I study number theory, which means I work with numbers a lot. For example, the modular arithmetic, which, as I said, I play with them every day. Uh huh. Uh, do you do you consider yourself uh, an algebraist or a number theorist? Wow, tough question. I'm definitely a number theorist. A number theorist, yeah. yes. It's, number because theory. Because number theory is bigger than just algebra. Yes, number theory is really nice. Okay. So, uh, Julia, what about you? Do you have one? What is the main thing you do at work? At work? Mm, well, so there are two parts of, there are two parts what I do. One part is I read what other mathematicians write. So, mm. you know, like the whole mathematics community, um, we can't just focus on our own work. We need to learn. Maybe I will approve some theorem and I, then I can read about it and, so, and feel, oh, that's interesting. Maybe I can do something similar or this helps with the problem I'm currently thinking. So one part of the work is reading. And the other part is, well, 
um, you sometimes, you know, we are curious about something. So we find an example and try it out and we may see a pattern. And then we make a guess of what the answer may be and then try to prove it. So this is conducting our own research. So I consider these two parts as my work. Oh, of course, I also teach uh, during some semesters. I also teach some class and lots of mathematicians do that um, they teach students and they give seminar talks to um, pass on their research results. Yeah. So do, do you um, do mathematicians write a lot of new things every day or like how often do mathematicians write something new? Mathematicians write something new, well, new to themselves, probably every day, I would guess. But how often do they write something new, or like really like new math that other people have never done? Well, different people have their dif different speed, but uh, you know, every year or so you have some new idea that no one had written down before. Yeah, and, and between uh, among like all of us, we every day, right, we get like new papers in the by email. Uh, that people are writing and publishing. Um, Natalie, do you have another one? Do you like algebra the best, or are there other types of math you also like? By the way, my dad chose this. I did not. <laughs> <laughs> I think I think mommy uh, wrote that question. Did what? It, didn't mommy ask that one? I have no idea. Yeah, I think we, we we made a pool of questions, and I think this one, uh, their mommy uh, uh, proposed this question. So. Um, do you like algebra the best, or are there other types of math you also like? Thanks for the question from the family. Yeah. Um, <laughs> um, yeah. Well, uh, yeah. Algebra is definitely uh, my favorite, um, but also we know that geometry is also very important, and it is tightly connected to algebra, um, as you know. Um, numbers are not that different from points, uh, you know, in geometry. So uh, I don't, yeah, I think algebra and geometry are really a whole, like you really can't separate them. That's algebra my and geometry. We're, yeah. we're, we're going to have to start a second uh, series of videos on geometry for kids. Oh, great. <laughs> maybe. Um, Julia, do you have uh, maybe one last question for one, Lynn? One last. What is your favorite equation? What is oh, your what favorite, is favorite equation? Equation. Great. I have a really good one. I really like this simple equation that 8 plus 1 is 9. Really? That's your favorite equation? <laughs> Why? Well, because, first of all, 8 is a cube, right? Uh -huh. And also, 1 is a cube. So there are two different reasons. One reason is because this is two cubes that add it up to be a square. So 8 is a cube because 2 times 2 times 2 is 8. So it's uh, 2 uh, multiplied 3 times with itself gives 8. Yeah, awesome. Right. And 1, however time you multiply it to itself, is always 1. Uh -huh. So you have two cubes and you add it up to be a square. This doesn't happen very often. Yeah. And moreover, you know, actually, you know that if you have a, a integer that's okay if you have a, a cube plus another cube you can't get a third cube this is the rule uh -huh. so x cube plus y cube will never equal to z cube if they are integers uh -huh. oh unless they are zero if x y z are integers and not zero. None of them can be zero. So this, so you know that this shows nine can never be written as a product, uh, three times two of a number. That's the first reason. And the second reason is some type of, um, in general, you can have an equation that looks like y squared equals to x cubed plus one. And in this uh -huh. case, uh, I'm thinking about y as three and x equals to two. So uh, so this is a solution to a general equation. And this uh -huh. general equation, uh, in mathematics, we call it an elliptic curve that your dad has a book on. Yes, an elliptic curve. And you may have heard that one way to think about the curve is it looks like a donut. 
Yes. And everyone likes donuts, right? Yes, they do. Do you guys yes. like donuts? Uh, yes. My kids have heard a lot about elliptic curves at home. Yes. Have you told them it's a donut? Yeah. Do you know? Yeah. Natalie. Yeah. Natalie yeah. knows. Uh, and Julie knows. Yeah. I've seen it in your office. In my office. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Well, thank you so much, Wan Lin. This was amazing. Uh, thank you, and uh, and good luck in all the awesome math you're doing. Uh, we, thank we, you. We we will uh, keep reading your papers. Uh, so, um, thank you everyone for watching, and uh, kids, do you want to say goodbye to Wan Lin? Bye! Bye-bye! Bye-bye! Bye-bye, everyone! Bye-bye, Wan Lin, and uh, everyone, thank you for watching, and uh, we'll have some more algebra lessons for you soon. Bye-bye, everyone!